Right, welcome to Daily Dollop of Maths from ICT Games, Day 16. Keeping the math skills bubbling while we can't be at school. Uh, doing some things for Year 1 and Year 2. Um, with today, uh, uh, guys, we've got this uh, a worksheet uh, that you can uh, print out if you want. It's in the, the link to it is in the uh, little description box below. Uh, and we're going to do the same thing uh, as we did last time, where we get to just near the end, um, and Year 1's finish, um, and they can stay if they want, um, uh, to see to the end and year twos get a little bit of extra at the very end okay here we go guys now we need to be able to count in threes in year two uh, and it's good for year uh, for year one to join in here we go it's counting threes three six nine twelve fifteen eighteen twenty one twenty four twenty seven thirty and again join in make sure you're calling out three six nine twelve fifteen eighteen twenty one 24 27 30 one more time 3 6 9 12 15 18 21 24 27 30 right close your eyes heads down no peeping right open your eyes again here we go what number's missing change your partner Yes, tw oh, actually, let's just have a little go to get there. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27. That's it. Close your eyes again. Heads down. Open your eyes again. What number's missing? Yeah, it's 12, isn't it? Fantastic. Okay, close your eyes again. Open your eyes again. What's wrong there? What have I changed? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. Hmm? Yeah. That should be 27. Ah, I swapped those around, didn't I? Did you spot that? Good job, guys. Oh, okay, now we're going to be counting backwards on this uh, number line here. Counting backwards in ones. So please call out. Please join in. It's Love your mistakes, guys. Some of this is going to catch you out. Um, uh, and, but you must love your mistakes because it's the only way we learn. I make mistakes all day. It's a good thing. Okay, 70, you're going backwards in one. 72, 71, 70, 69, 68, 67, 66, 65, 64, 63, 62, 61, 60, 59, 58, 57. I'm just going to pause there. I'm going to hide the number at 57. See uh, if you can join in. Uh, it, so, uh, you can you can say, say it's at your end, um, but uh, see if we can work out what number we land on when I stop. Okay, so we're at 57 at the minute. So 57. Where are we now? Where are we now? Turn to partner. Yeah, 49. Where are we now? Yeah, 43. Let's do it together. 43, 42, 41, 40. 39, 38, 37, 36. Let's swap this round. Woo, let's get it back to 36. 36, 35, 34, 33, 32, 31, 30. 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, and we'll stop there. Okay. Now, if you have a look on your printout, you've got a, a job, a first job here is to partition nine. We're going to be using nine today. So uh, you've got these part, part, part holes. So you're putting nine in the big ones, and we're uh, partitioning that. So I've got nine Unifix cubes here. Okay, pause the video for me, and you need to work out all the ways of making nine. And the year two to be saying, oh, Mr. Barrett, that's so easy. But gosh, you need it a lot in your life. So please make sure um, that you know all the ways. Year twos, you can, these should just be popping out of your head straight away without even having to think about it. So have a go. Okay, let's have a look at what we've come up with. We've got nine and zero make nine. We've got... 8 and 1, 7 and 2, 6 and 3, 
five and four, and then they repeat. So now we've got four and five, three and six, two and seven, one and eight, and zero and nine. Okay, hopefully you've got those recorded because we'll need those in a minute. Okay, now, so we've just done that one, haven't we? Right, okay. We're going to be adding nine. Now, we've been using a number line. Let me just quickly show you that we've been using this number line um, in our um, adding to, uh, bridging to the next 10. We've been jumping to the next 10. But because we're adding nine, I really, I would be bad, uh, doing a bad job if I didn't show you that there are lots of strategies that people use for adding nine. Okay, so I've got a number here. What's that number? Yes, 12. Now what I'm going to do is show you a strategy that you might use to quickly add 9. And here it comes. 9 is very similar to 10. It's only one less than 10. So one way of adding 9 is to add 10. So this is now 22. And then take away 1. And now it's 21. Right, so now let's do 21 add 9. So the simple way of doing the, the one this way of doing it is to add 10 and 10 is too many so you take away 1. So uh, 20, 21 add 9 is 30. Let's do 30 add 9. So you add 10 I have to split that and you take away 1. And here we've got 9. So we've got 39. Let's do 39 add 9. So you add 10. 10 is too many. So you take away 1. So that's 48. So one way of doing it is to imagine that you added a whole 10 and then correct by 1. And you can do the same thing on a number square. So I'm going to find 9 more on a number square. You just do it as a one player game. Here we go. So I've got 9, nine more than 96. So here's 96. How do you add 10 to 96? Well, you go down a square, and how do you take away one? You go to the left one. So, 105. Let's try another one. 7 add 9. You add 10, you take away one. Ooh, 5. Uh, 95 add 9. You add 10, you take away one. Okay, now this game, you could play with a partner, which would be quite fun. Uh, so I'll put the link to this one. Let me just make a note to put the link to this one. Um, I'll put a link to this one in the, underneath the um, video. We'll add 10, take away 1. So I'll show you, if I go back to the menu, if I do, so what you could do at the end, guys, um, so you know, 9 more, you play the two-player game. Uh, there's a little red dot here that says it's player 1's go. So this is player 1, 9 more than 45, add 10, take away 1, 54, or oh, 6 seconds. Right, now it's player two's go. See the red dot isn't next to player two. Nine more than 13. Add 10. Take away one. Seven seconds. Oh, that was a bit faster than player one. Oh, no, but with player one must have been faster. Sorry, missed that. 63, add, to add nine. Oh, it's 63. One in the 60s. There's three. Add 10. Take away one. 72. So that was nine seconds for player one. See if player two can beat nine seconds. 33, add 9, add 10, take away 1. Four seconds, that was much faster. So now, uh, can you see, you get these little white spots in, in this little slot here to say who's winning. Okay, so that'll be a fun thing to have a go at later on. Now, so let's have a look at what we've got on our sheet that we're working on. Our first one is 3, add 9. Okay, whoops, sorry, wrong thing. Okay, so let's have a look. Let's have a go. Now, this technique is possibly not the best technique for adding nine. Like I've said to you before, something like oh sorry, like oh, this one, the adding ten and taking away one is probably my preferred way of adding nine. But it's just that's because I've used different techniques so many times because I'm an old man. So um, it's useful for us to be able to explore all the techniques and make our choices. So we're going to carry on. We're going to learn this. Carry on learning this technique uh, using the number line and bridging for the for this. So, so we've got three and nine. So here we go. Let's get. Th let's see what three looks like. 
Let's see what nine looks like. Here we go. Um, okay, I'm going to put three on my number line. There's three. That's jumped to three. Ooh, doop, doop, doop. There's three. And now I'm going to use my bonds of ten. How far is it from three to ten? Three and mm, mm, made in heaven. Three and seven. That's right, three and seven made in heaven. So I'm going to split my nine into seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and two. Okay, so here we go. Let's put the seven on first. Five and two is seven. There we go. That's got me to the ten. Now I know I've only got two left. So let's put the two on. Where are we going to be? What, what's the answer to... Uh, so now you're just putting um, two into the placeholder. You're just putting two into here. Ten add two is... 12. Fantastic. Okay. Right. Now let's try the next one. What's the next one? Maybe you want to pause the video, guys, and um, have a go at all of these before um, before we get to them, before I do them with you. So have a go at, pause the video, have a go at these other two, and then um, we'll uh, do it together. Okay, I'm hoping you've had a go at the other two. Uh, so what have we got? We've got seven add nine. So next one, so seven add nine. Okay, let's just get seven up here, nine up here. Let's see what they look like. So seven is five and two. Oh, I know my number packs. It's so easy with these. And I know my number packs. Five and four is nine. Oh, it'd be better if it was a different colour. Nine. There we go. Right, now, so... Let's have a look. Let's put seven on the number line. Here we go. There's seven. There's seven. Right, now, how far is it to bridge to the ten? How far is it from seven to ten? And seven made in heaven? Yeah, three. Fantastic. So, we're going to use three of the nine. One, two, three. We're going to use three of the nine. What did you have recorded? What did you have written down for three and what make nine? Three and... Yes, yeah, six. Three and six make nine. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So, if we add the three, if we've already, if we add the three, what is, what's left to add? The six. So you add six onto ten in your head. It's an easy one to do in your head. Where will we be? Yes, it's one more than fifteen. It's sixteen. Fantastic. Okay, is that what you got when you did it? Okay, let's go on to the next one. Okay, what's the next one? What's the next one? Five add nine. Five add nine. Here we go. So uh, five add nine. Let's have a look at what five and nine look like. So uh, let's put five up here. Let's put, oh, let's get the other colour. Nine up here. Okay, so to be honest, I mean, again, the other thing I would probably do is put the biggest number first. I don't often do five, add nine myself. Uh, so I don't start with the five and add the nine. I would normally put nine first and add the five, but it's not the skill we're doing today. I, we need. If you could imagine that we were doing 35, add nine. Um, the skill, that would still help with the skill that we're learning. So I'm going to put five on the line. There's five. What do you add to five to get to ten? How can we? How far is it to bridge from five to ten? Five and five and five. Let's do a jive. Fantastic. So we're going to use five of the nine. Oh, I might just do this. One, two, three, four, five. How much is left of the nine? Yeah, four. So if I add my five, how much? So I've used the five. How much is left? I'll just write that on. Sorry, get behind. How much of the nine is left? Four. Now you can add that in your head. What's uh, ten add four? This goes into that place placeholder there, doesn't it? Fourteen. Fantastic. Okay, guys, fantastic job. So um, year ones, guys. That's um, everything for today. So I'm going to put the link to this game um, in uh, the, um, in the box below, so you can have a go at that. Um, year twos, we're going to do a little bit more. Year ones, you're very welcome to stay, but um, uh, you don't need to. Uh, your reward today is, let's have a look, you get, imagine you sat down at lunch and you're in the hall, which we haven't done in ages, I know, 
and you open your lunchbox lid. It's like a laptop lid, one of those ones. And inside, nobody else knows this, but you've got a scanner screen and it does x-rays. So you can x-ray all the people in the hall and see what they're e and see them chewing and eating. <laughs> and see what's in their lunchbox. Okay, super job. Guys, right, so uh, year twos. Uh, so goodbye year ones. Here we go, year twos. So we're going to have uh, another go at vertical addition with tricky columns. Uh, okay, vertical addition with tricky columns. Here we go. So you've got some squared paper year twos. The last page is squared paper. I would like you to write this vertical, sorry, this horizontal calculation. Right, 53, add 27 for me. And when you've done that, can you write it as a vertical? You might want to pause the video while you write it as a vertical, as a column addition. Okay. Now, again, can I just repeat, these tens and ones, they're just on here to help. We don't, we don't really write these when we're writing a vertical. We just write these black numbers, yeah? And this addition, this add sign, and the big equals. Okay. Here we go. I just We have these in this game just to help us to know what it means. So three and seven, three and seven made in heaven, three and seven makes ten. So th those ten don't fit in that column. They have to go uh, and be added, left hanging here uh, to be added to the tens afterwards. So we just have a placeholder in here. You mustn't forget your placeholder. Okay. Five and two is seven. Okay. And don't leave me hanging. Add that last ten. Eight. So 80. So 53 and 27 equals 80. Right, we'll do another one. Okay, guys. So can you write this one in as a horizontal calculation on your page? 53 add 27, 29. And change it to, um, after you've written it as a horizontal, write it as a vertical. Okay, you might want to pause the video while you do that. Okay, here we go. 53 add 29. Right. Now, 53 add 29. I've lined up the um, units column nicely. We've got to make sure that we always start with the ones. So we're doing 3 add 9. Well, we've just been talking about that, haven't we? So 3 add 10 would be 13. Take away 1 would be 12. So I think it's going to be 12. Okay. And then their 10s goes to this column here. Okay. And then 5 add 2. 5 add 2 is 7. Fantastic. Oh, just drag that down. But don't leave me hanging. 80. So 53 add 29 is 82. Okay. Now, I've just realised I've been doing them with you, haven't I? I should be getting you to do it. Silly me. Okay. Here's your next one. Write this one out. Pause the video. Make it into a vertical. And complete the answer. Make sure you've got the a completed the answer for me. Okay, right, 79, add 43. So we've got 9, add 3. So 9, add 3, just add 10. That's 13. Take away 1 is 12. So I think it's going to be 12. The 2 stays here. The 10 comes into this column. 4, add 7. Oh, this is going to be interesting. 4 add 7, what does that make? Yeah, 11. Did this catch you out when you did it? It's quite tricky, this one, isn't it? Right, so we've got 11, or 110, that means, actually. 70 add 40 is 110. And we're going to add another 10. So it's going to be 120, but 100 doesn't fit in here. It goes over here. Now, this means 0 add 0, which I'll put 0 in there. But, oh, don't leave me hanging. 100. So 79 add 43 equals 122. Okay. Year, uh, year two. So if you fancy doing anything else, can you do a couple more of those? Uh, you might have room for one or two more on your page. Um, don't forget, you've got your, you've won your um, X-ray lunchbox. Uh, and thank you for coming by again. Uh, have a super day.